Hello, Carly here from Carly Says, reporting on my day 17 and 18 of Whole30, January 2018. Going well still, staying strong. I food's not eating food's not too bad. I've just got all the other things going on, like um, heaps of Easter eggs, which is my kryptonite. Yeah, there's something about Easter eggs that I just love. And every year it's a big battle and they're in the supermarket and the first few weeks it was easy to walk, well, it was easier to walk past them. And today it's super duper fucking hot where I am, like 40 something it was today. And the heat really affected me. And I, I was looking and I, I'm really checking in with myself and trying to see what's motivating it. But I, so I was like, I want to eat, I want to eat. An Easter egg or I want to have something nice you know and I, I sort of stopped to think why do I want to this is what I'm trying to get rid of and I put it down to that I was feeling crappy from just being too hot and in and out and running around I was in and out of the air conditioning and I, I realized that I go to food to make me feel better so I'd had plenty of water, but I still felt like I was, like I needed a pick-me-up, you know, like an energy drink or something, which I never have energy drinks, one with electrolytes or something like that. So that was interesting to um, stop and acknowledge that any time I feel crappy, I want to eat. I've never been one of those people that when they feel sick, they're like, oh, no, I'm not hungry. I'm like, yeah, I feel shit. Food will fix it. <laughs> so I didn't eat and I just let it be. I, I knew that food wasn't going to fix it and I knew that I'd feel really, really upset and crappy tomorrow if I did partake. And, and, and I was sort of like, I'm getting a bit brave. I was trying to challenge myself. And so I walked down. <laughs> I was giving myself a little pep talk as I was walking on. But I walked down the aisle where there was heaps of Easter eggs and I looked at them, I was like, I wanted to, I wanted to stare them down, you know. And I looked at them and they had big packets and then they had different flavours. And you know what I noticed? They're really fucking dear. The cost of them put me off more than anything. There was like a, a bigger bag that you might get for, you know, like to share with a bunch of people. $20 for like little baby eggs. Just an ordinary pack that I would ordinarily demolish in one sitting easily. $5. And like it's not it, it's not more chocolate, it's just they're cashing in on it. I'm like, that is outrageous. I I I you know, I that put me off more. I was like you know, I sort of walked past going Ooh, and then I went <laughs> I'm not paying that <laughs> So that helped me a little bit, but at the same time, I knew that it was just a, you know, like I, I, it's, I'm finding it very challenging to find things that are like a treat and that make, you know, I used to just sit and sort of zone out like smokers, I guess. Somebody has a smoke and I feel a bit envious because I feel like they're just thinking about the breath in and the breath out and how the tobacco is making you feel. Like it's a really sort of meditative thing, even though it's not good for you. But I sort of did that a little bit with Easter eggs and chocolate. So it's good that I feel like I can separate from it, especially when it's so expensive. And uh, I feel quite pleased that I figured out that I, um, when I'm feeling crappy for any reason, then... I'm looking to food to fix that. And I did go through my fridge and I'm like, what? Would that fix it? No. No, you know, like I was I still looked and if there was something that I couldn't have that I felt like would have made me feel better, I might have had a more difficult decision to make, but I I didn't everything I looked at I went, yeah nah, that'll make me feel worse. Yeah no, nah, yeah no, nah, you know, so and I didn't even have fruit to try and oh I had some watermelon, but that wasn't in response to it, it was just it was snack. So that's where I'm at. I didn't record yesterday. Um, I had It was pretty cruisy yesterday. It was a bit of a day. There was a day for a good for nothing day. It was just a, just a vague day. So um, I'm blending in day 17 and day 18.
each day there's something there's something else I have some other little epiphany and um it actually an analogy was given to me today about I was describing how I'm not being like crazily strict about like if I accidentally have something with a label or there's no other choice and it means I can still eat healthy apart from like one tiny ingredient then I'm letting that type thing go um and she said it's like a spring some people are like a spring when it comes to their like concentration or their discipline is that when it gets pushed down it boings up <laughs> oh mine boinged <laughs> oh I'm a boinger but that oh, I was like yeah yeah that's true so I'm just trying to do little pushes <laughs> so that I don't boing back up at the end of it but yeah day 17 day 18 in the bag feels like ages is there, is anyone else still doing it I don't know there are there are a few people on my Facebook page but if you're thinking about doing the whole 30 check in let me know I've probably got lots of tips for you if well I have they're in my videos go and watch them <laughs> um, if you're honest let me know how you're going if you're struggling with anything having any epiphanies where you at people I was gonna say girl and I thought no it might be boy I was lost so, anyway I'll see you all tomorrow it'll be day 19 okay Bye, thanks for watching.